of life is irrefutable. There, there is no dispute. There may be a theological dispute about when life begins. There may be a philosophical dispute about when life begins. There is not a scientific biological dispute because we know that when 23 chromosomes from a man and 23 from a woman come together and create at the moment of conception that unique DNA schedule, it has never existed before. That particular DNA schedule will never exist like that quite again. It is not merely an appendage of the mother, for if it were, it would have a mirror image of the DNA of the mother. It does not. In fact, sometimes it doesn't even share the same blood type as the mother. The baby that starts living at the moment of conception is a unique life. And it happened at the moment of conception. And all the cellular reality and mapping that ever will be in that person's life happened at that moment of conception. That is irrefutable in terms of the science. So I say to the liberals, I say to those who want to celebrate abortion instead of celebrate life, join us in the science of reality and join us in the affirmation that there is no such thing as a life that is disposable and expendable, that all life has value, and that's why we shall seek to protect it. And I'm grateful that the Republican Party of Iowa has taken a stand, and I salute this party and its leaders for having the courage, and let's just be blunt, having the courage to take a stand that may or may not be popular at all levels of our party. And I'm willing to let people believe whatever they want to believe, but please don't push me out the door because of it, or if you do, there's going to be a lot of folks going with us and I want to see, is it going to be possible for Republicans ever to win an election without those of us who are committed to something more than just what's in our pockets? Some of us believe that if we take care of our business in honoring human life, God will bless us economically, but God cannot, will not, and should not bless us economically if we destroy them and billion babies every single year who could have had. I just got back this past Tuesday from